For the first time, scientists have confirmed that an important component of early genetic material, which has been found in meteor fragments, is actually extraterrestrial in nature. Scientists from Europe and the USA say that their research provides evidence that life's raw materials came from sources beyond Earth. In 1969, a meteorite known as the Merkaiza meteorite crashed in Australia. Rock fragments off this meteorite were shown to contain the molecules uracil and xanathine, the precursors to molecules that make up DNA and RNA, which are known as nucleobases. The meteorite material was tested to determine whether the molecules of xanathine and uracil came from our solar system or a result of contamination of when the meteorite hit the Earth. The scientists analyzed the nucleobases and determined that the type of carbon that was found in the nucleobases from the meteorite could only have come from space because they did, had a very heavy type of carbon whereas on Earth, it's a much lighter variety of the same carbon in the same nucleobases. Scientists at the Department of Earth Science and Engineering at Imperial College in London believe that life may have adopted the nucleobases from the meteoritic fragments to use as in genetic coding, which enabled them to pass them on to their successful features to subsequent generations. The scientists claim that between 3.8 and 4.5 million years ago, a large number of meteoritic rocks, such as the Munkaisen meteorite, rained down on Earth at the time when primitive life was just forming. They believe that the nucleobases, xanathine and uracil, which were discovered in the rocks here, contributed to the life forms and is an important step in understanding how early life may have evolved. Now, in other space-related news, scientists have for the first time been able to observe a flash of ultraviolet light from within the dying star, giving vital evidence as to how stars turn into supernovae. Now, supernovae, for anyone who doesn't already know, are huge explosions that light up galaxies, but often we can't tell which star has exploded. Scientists from Oxford University state that the nature of such an explosion is that we can't look inside it and it destroys almost all evidence of the original star. Scientists have been trying to catch such an event happening for decades. Previously, scientists have been able to see the stars nearing their end and have been able to see the supernova explosions and their afterglow, but have had very little evidence of what happened in between at the actual time of death for the stars. For the first time, scientists were able to spot telltale signs within a star before it explodes into the supernova. Scientists were able to detect a huge dramatic flash of ultraviolet light that was given off by a huge star about a billion light years away. This flash actually occurred two weeks before it was detected as a normal supernova. It's believed that this huge dramatic flash of ultraviolet light comes from the core of the star collapsing and compressing the gas around it, heating it up. A couple hours afterwards, it's observed to be a shock wave that collapses the core, traveling outward and exploding the surface, blowing it apart. This is the first time that the actual death and explosion of a star has been captured, and scientists hope, to, now that they know what they're looking for, to be able to capture many more. So with the little bit of knowledge you learned today, you now know what to look for if you're looking for a dying star. You see that little flash up in the sky? It might just be a star in the process of dying. And who knows, maybe the explosion will create a meteorite that will land on Earth, which contains new nucleobases, which can contribute to the evolution of your offspring in the future. But remember, a little bit of knowledge can be a dangerous thing. <laughs>